all for coming in on a Monday, one of your very few days off to be with us here. And um, I actually created this course because um, I created another course and when I presented it to the West Coast um, team, West Coast reps, how many of you work with West Coast Beauty as well for your, some of your products? Yeah. Um, their rep said, well, we don't really know who to send to your class because we found like a lot of people didn't even know what business they were in. Um, so you have some commission salons that are um, renting a chair because they want to cover the rent, but they don't understand the repercussion of that. You have some people moving from salary to commission, some people moving from commission to salary, and just kind of doing what the person next to them is doing, not really understanding that the way you pay people drives the behavior in your salon. And so are you looking to create a swim team or a soccer team? You know, are you, what are you looking to, what kind of ambience are you looking to create? Are you looking to create a team where you're the leader and they're following you? Or are you looking to create something that's independent and you're hands off and it's running by itself? And all of those things are dramatically impacted um, by the, the core like foundational structure of the way you pay people and what I find is a lot of the because there's so much social media and everybody's got these forums and they can like hate on salon owners and you know try to like I find people are wanting the best of both worlds right like they want to rent a chair but not pay rent when they're on mat leave or they want to get the employee benefits but not work when they're not doing hair and so we need to know what business we're in and choose a model, stick to it, and know how to defend it. So some of the things that we're gonna do today, and that's why I say the salon model is broken, because um, it's just, you know, there's not, like the margins are shrinking in the business because we're adding expenses. Think back even when I started doing hair, and maybe some of you, um, we had a paper appointment book. Right? We didn't pay for software, we didn't pay social media people, we didn't um, pay a full-time receptionist, we were all taking turns answering the phone. So we've added all these expenses, but we've also like keep just paying people more. And so it's starting to tip where there's just no money left to run the business. And so we need to make change, and I'm so glad you're all here because you're the change makers, and you're the one that is like, I'm gonna go find out what my business is all about and not necessarily look next door to what they're doing because they might be sinking, right? Like we don't wanna copy what they're charging because they might not be making it either. So we need to know like what's our business doing, what's the right model for the lifestyle we wanna create, and then how do we like create that culture, we were talking about like that culture around it um, that's gonna support what we're trying to do. So today my goals for you is that we're gonna learn the pros and cons of each model and that way you can reflect and think like, what kind of business do I wanna be in? And then from there, I have like a wealth of um, directions I can point you in for further education on on that and I also have a course of my own I can share with you but for a specific model right and that's another reason I created this class is um, like I don't want people spending the money to take the wrong course so we need to establish first what business are you in and then here's some more resources for you um, to figure out how to grow that the way that you want to grow it and so we're gonna talk about the salary model so that's when the stylists are getting paid hourly we're gonna talk about commission which is a really standard model um, we're going to talk about team-based pay, which is a version of salary, but there's more group incentives. We'll go a bit deeper in that. Um, we're going to talk about the rental model and the mixed model. And we're going to go into what's the pros and cons of each model. And it's going to be a wealth of information from you too, right? Because you've all been in different models and have different experiences that we're going to share. Then we are going to, um, we're also going to talk about like what are, the, what are your liabilities as a rental owner or what are your liabilities as commission owner so what risks are you opening yourself up to being in that type of business um, and then we have this fun little exercise and it's like scripts to defend your model so when your stylist comes in and says yeah but I can get 60% over here what are you gonna say and so <laughs> and yeah Alberto told me earlier what his answer was <laughs> Which might not work for all of us. I have coaching clients that say like, oh, she asked me for 60%, so I said okay. And I'm like, no, 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 you don't say okay. You say like, what's the person offering you? What's on their T4 slip? What 60% of what? I had one of my clients, um, the, girl, the girl was in Abbotsford and she was a downtown salon and her stylist came up to her and said, uh, a salon in Abbotsford offered me 60% and I said, tell her 60% of what and how much is she gonna make? Is the haircut price lower? You know, is she getting it off of a lower price? Um, so we're gonna get, get some script ideas and I want you to be prepared with like, what are you gonna say when they come at you wanting something that they can get somewhere else, right? Um, we're gonna talk about 
some basic benchmarks. So it's this class is not based on all the financials, but I want you to walk away with at least the top three benchmarks, like what should it look like? And you're gonna learn some little formulas of how to figure out what you can afford to pay and what you can afford to spend in certain categories, not based on what your neighbor's paying, because they might have a totally different rent deal than you, right? So they can spend a different amount than you. And then we are got hot tips to abide by the rules. I find on the Facebook groups always, everybody's asking in the Facebook group like, what do I do about this? What do I do about this? And then somebody's answering and I'm like, oh my gosh, that's not true, right? Like we're not going calling up labor standard to find out the answer. We're asking a Facebook group who's giving answers that are like not real. So we have like a whole resource list for you with links. Um, so we can, uh, we can also, you have the paper, you'll have the paper copy, but you can also leave your email with Catherine. Catherine, do you wanna introduce, say hi to everyone? Um, so Catherine's here to help with any questions on the breaks too. Um, but you, you could also get the email version where you have the links so you can directly go to the labor standards and see the answer for yourself. So we really tried to make it easy for you. Um, my passion is to help salon owners. And the reason my passion is to help salon owners is because I started doing, I started skipping high school to work in a salon. And so, you know, that shows you where my grades probably were. And, uh, you know, it, my career path went like this. Like at 18, I was teaching already. I got to fly to Paris, to Thailand to teach. And my career path was going up and I was renting a chair. So I got some independence. And I'm like, ooh, the next step in my career is to open a salon. And then, <laughs> right, like I'm on top of the world here and I open a salon and now I'm back at the bottom and like not getting a paycheck and risking like bankruptcy and bouncing payrolls and like way in over my head because I was a hairstylist. I wasn't a business owner. I didn't know the first thing about running a business. How many of you have, you don't have to put your hand up, but anyone relate? Yeah. And, um, and so I learned the hard way and I learned every mistake you can make. Um, I made it. And over a 10 year process through that, um, I got actually really passionate about becoming a, a real businesswoman and an entrepreneur. And I shifted so much that I don't actually do hair anymore because I, I don't even identify with that stylist pers persona anymore. Um, and I just got really passionate about helping owners because I know how hard it is. And I know that if you're not looking at every little detail in your business, that you're probably losing money. In Vancouver, paying inflated commissions that would be my guess and I could probably support it like with a financial analysis. Um, but so we need to change. Do you guys agree we need to change? We need to make some changes. So, um, so you guys will be the ones to kind of give input and we can collaborate together and be like, what is the next generation model that works? And I have some ideas around that, but I don't have all the answers. So we'll all put our mind together. We also have a panel today of some experts. And so there'll be some people that have done different things that you can ask questions to and um, some experts in the audience too. Alberto, you've got how many years of experience behind you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we have like a wealth of knowledge just in here. So this is a great four hours that we can spend to elevate our businesses. So you guys excited? Yes. Awesome. So we're going to start and jump right into it with the pros and cons of each model. And so there was some sticky paper on your chair. Um, so we're going to do a brainstorm. And what we're going to do is here's all the models that we are going to talk about today. So we've got salary commission, team based rental mixed model. If you're not familiar with any of them, just leave them out. But off the top of your head, just write one idea per sticky and then come over and put it. Oh, let's, um, Catherine, can we divide it? So we'll do um, pro and con. And so if it's a pro of the model, put it on the pro side. If it's a con of the model, put it on the con side. And just come up with as many as you can. And we're gonna, and then we're gonna go through it together as a group. Any questions? To write, so for example, like um, commission, a con would be that they think they're not working when they're not doing hair. So it's hard to make them like clean up. That would be a con. But a pro would be they're motivated by making extra money because they're not at a fixed salary. Um, a salary might be they're not as motivated because they just have that fixed fee. A rental might be like I can't get everyone to follow a dress code because they're all independent. So think about your own model. like. What even just think about your own model, like what are some problems that you're facing within it and what are some like great things that you love about it? 